Hello everyone, it's Robin the Delta Crafter and I want to thank you for joining me for this special video on my YouTube channel. Today's video is a part of a collaboration that I host each quarter called Three C's. This is the fall 2023 collaboration and it's all about those cozy vibes, please. A few of my crafty friends are joining me in this collaboration, so I'll be sure to link to their videos in the description box below. Go ahead and check them out and you'll be ready for fall. Let's go ahead and get into my project. We're going to start out with our card today by creating our card base. I'm using a piece of ivory or cream colored cardstock. I believe this cardstock is from Basil. Um, and it, all the items that I can link below, I absolutely will put those links in the description for you. I knew that I wanted to have some autumn color, um, some deeper, darker autumn color on my background. So I'm coming in with some aged mahogany distress ink. And I'm just laying down a good amount of that ink onto my cream cardstock. I'm going to give this cardstock a little bit of time to dry back so that ink can um, fade into the paper and settle. I brought in another piece of that cardstock, and this time we're going to use the Mugs and Kisses uh, die set from Honey Bee Stamps to cut some mugs. I absolutely love this mug set. Um, I've told you before, I've used this set quite a bit in some videos because I think this is a fantastic all-season um, die set that can be used year-round. And I love that it has both a right-handle and a left-handle mug. So I'm using both of those mugs today. And so I'm just taping those down to my cream cardstock. I'm going to take them over to my die cutting machine. And here you can see I've got some beautifully cut mug dies. That little oval shaped die in there, that is for the inside of your mug. So if you want to add what uh, a liquid, if you will, or a um, drink to your mug, that's what that oval shape is for. It fits right into the opening at the top of the mug um, to create make it look like you have a beverage in your mug. Now for this mug, we're going for that cozy season, um, and so I'm, uh, all the cozy vibes. So I wanted to make my mugs look like enamelware, like camping enamelware. So I decided to bring in some vintage photo. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to that vintage photo since this ink is wa uh, water reactive. And I'm just going to tap some splatters um, onto my mugs. If you've ever seen enamelware, like camping enamelware, it has those speckles all over it. So that's the look that I'm going for uh, with these mugs. I really like the way this looks. I'm happy with the way it um, came out. So I'm going to take those out and um, clean up my workspace and move on to the next step. So this card has a lot of details in it. It's details, details, details. And one of those details that I'm about to add right now is to color the edge of my mug. So again, when I look at enamelware, when I see enamelware in, um, in the stores, a lot of times the edge of the mugs or the edge of the um, cookware, the skillet, are kind of colored and they... Um, like a, a, a coordinating color to the color of the enamelware of the mug or the skillet or the plates or, or whatever, you're, whatever you're looking at. So I decided to add that detail to my mugs as well. So I've brought back in those little ovals that are going to um, suggest there's a liquid in my, um, in my mugs. And I can see now by putting this down, there's actually a little bit of the edge of the mug on the out what would be the outer rim that you can still see so I was able to pull that up using because I was using some liquid adhesive and pull that um, that beverage dye up and go ahead and add in that um, detail We're using a Copic marker on the outer rim of my mug as well I know sometimes these small details feel like, um, you know, no one will notice them or no one will see them, but they af definitely add a finished touch and a thoughtful touch to um, your creations. So now I'm just coming back in with that Barely Arts glue and I'm adding some more adhesive um, to the back of that little beverage die there. I'm going to sit that into the mug and you can see there that you actually do see 
that bit of detail that we added with the Copic marker. I believe that was E37, by the way, um, that I used for, for this, uh, to add this bit of detail. So we're gonna add that beverage detail to the second mug and just press that down and now we're ready to go. We wanna add a little bit more detail to our mug. So I'm pulling out the pumpkin from this wagons, accessory, wagons and Accessories die set from Hero Arts. This little pumpkin is the perfect size to add to our mugs. I wanted to make sure that the stem of my pumpkin was colored in, so I'm bringing in an E59 um, Copic marker and just adding a little bit of uh, brown ink to the top of the, the stem of the pumpkin. Now I went ahead and glued my pumpkins down to uh, to my mug using this using the Barely Arts glue. Another thing that you could do is place a foam dot behind the pumpkin and kind of then press the edges of the pumpkin into the mug. So then it gives your pumpkin a puffed up appearance or puffed up look um, while it's on the mug. I've done that before and I think it's so so cute and takes your, again, uh, as detail, it takes your creation up just another notch. So I've brought the background back in and I was, as I was looking at it after it's had a little bit of time to dry, I just felt like it needed a little something more. So again, because these Distress inks are water reactive, I decided to spritz that background just a tiny bit with my Distress sprayer. And um, that's going to give us a little bit of speckled look, a um, little bit of um, less in color look on our um, inked up background. And now I'm going to bring in my heat tool just to, to speed up the drying process. This is not necessary. You can definitely let these things air dry. But if you're ready to move on with your project, then you might want to help the drying process along with your heat tool. I grabbed a couple of scraps of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White um, cardstock that I have on hand. And now I'm just going to bring in some Rusty Hinge and some Bundled Sage. And I'm going to just lay down a thin, um, a light layer of both of these colors on these, um, these scrap pieces of paper so that I can kind of tint my paper to the color that I want. Once we've got these, uh, the inks laid down, we're actually going to use these two pieces of paper to cut out some leaves using the Autumn Bouquet die set from Hero Arts. All of the products that I'm using today will be listed and linked below for your convenience. So I'm just pulling off some of these um, leaf dies, and these are the perfect size to go along with our mugs as well. And I'm going to um, cut several of these leaves out from the scrap pieces of papers that, that I inked up earlier. I'm going to bring a piece of mint tape in to hold all the dies down while I run them through my die cutting machine. Because mint tape is reusable, you may see a little bit of ink on there because I've used this piece of tape before. So here are all the leaves that I ended up cutting out of those scrap pieces of papers that, that I inked up. So I'll have these ready when it's time for us to lay out our card. I'm bringing in that piece of um, ivory cardstock again that we cut our mugs out of. And this is where we're gonna stamp our message, which is coming from the Autumn Messages stamp set from Hero Arts. So I've placed the cardstock and the stamp in my Misty, and I'm just gonna close the door of the Misty, grab that stamp, and I'm gonna use the Vintage Photo um, Distress Ink again to be the color of ink that I'm gonna ink up my stamp with and stamp my message. So there's the vintage photo. And um, I'm gonna just stamp this a couple of times to make sure that I get uh, really good coverage of my, um, my message here. To trim my message down, I'm gonna use my Tim Holtz Mini Trimmer. This thing is fantastic. I love having um, the little mini trimmers or mini machines that I can have on my right on my desktop and um, that cut really well and are easily accessible and easily put away. So when I got ready to kind of lay out my card, I felt like something was still missing from um, everything I had, I had had going on already. So I went back to the Mugs and Kisses die set and that die set has a little whipped cream die in it or topping die. So I went ahead and cut that out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. 
And now I'm using that E37 um, Copic marker again to kind of pounce some dots onto this uh, the whipped cream to make it look like there's like spice that has been sprinkled on top of the whipped cream. And now that I've added this, I think that I'm happy with the way my mugs came together. I just wanted to make sure that we got all the cozy vibes feels when uh, when you look at this card. So I'm just going to attach the whipped cream to the mugs using that Barely Arts glue again with the fine tip nozzle. And I really like how cute these mugs look. We've got our little pumpkins on there. We've got our enamelware look. We've got our um, whipped cream with some sprinkles on top. Yeah, this is, this is moving in the right direction. So here's where I'm kind of testing out the leaves and I'm like, mm, some of them maybe, but probably not all of them. So I decided to go ahead and um, start adhering things to my card and then I'm going to leave the, the leaves over to the side until I kind of get everything in its position and then I'll give the leaves a try again to see which ones work and which ones don't. So my first mug, I'm going to glue directly to our background that we created earlier. So using my tweezers, I'm able to place that mug kind of um, slanted a little bit and, and get it exactly where I want it to be. Now the next mug, I'm going to use these thinner foam dots to pop it up a little bit and give it just the slightest amount of dimension. So that's going to allow us to place that one kind of uh, on top of the first mug that we placed uh, on the on the car panel so there we go we got that in place and I'm just gonna press down and make sure everything is secure and and holding tight to the car panel so I added some of those same foam dots to our sentiment and I'm just gonna slide that in place on top of that first mug um, that we created and so I'm going to come in and I'm going to add about three of the green leaves, those bundled sage leaves that we inked up earlier. So I ended up not using the rusty hinge leaves at all. Um, I just didn't feel like they added anything. They didn't kind of give me the look I was going for. So we're just stuck with what I know. Um, and I just uh, kept those, those rusty hinge leaves over to the side because I may use those in a future creation. Now, if you know me, you know that I love to pop up my card panels. So, suffice it to say, I'm going to do that here as well. I'm going to put a couple of pieces of foam tape on the back of this panel, peel off the backer tape, and using my tweezers, I'm going to place this panel onto my card base. The card base is made from the same cream card stock we've used throughout the uh, creation of this card. And once I place this panel onto the card base, this card is complete. I want to thank you for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. And this one being a special one because it's a part of the Three C's collaboration that I'm hosting along with some of my favorite crafty friends. Be sure to check out their videos, which will also be linked in the description below and see what they've created for to give you all the cozy vibes. I think I want to start a list. So leave me a comment below of the thing, the drink, or the item that gives you all the cozy vibes. It's still warm here where I am, but I'm ready to get the cozy vibes going. As again, all the products that I've used today will be listed and linked below in the description box. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Delta Crafter, as well as on my website, thedeltacrafter.com. Thanks again for joining me, everyone, and until next time, enjoy!